push the edge in different ways. So I think any brand like Flying Dog, and there are many others out there that are distinctive, push some edge. If you like non-traditional seasoning when it comes to your lager, chances are you're already infatuated with Flying Dog. We do a lot of experimentation. And from that, we come up with beers like uh, hot chocolate, uh, kind of a mole chocolate with some hot spicy seasoning in it, a chai beer, a green tea beer, a ginger beer. So we really have the ability here to do, well, 43 styles. Brewing 24 hours a day, seven days a week, Flying Dog is Maryland's largest brewery on a mission to introduce people to better beer. It all starts here in Frederick. We actually brew wort, W-O-R-T. While you talk about brewing beer, in our industry it's wort, it's the uh, concentrated um, liquid that eventually becomes beer. But most importantly what's happening here is we're adding the hops. And that's where you're getting the traditional bitterness on the back of your tongue that is so distinctive to beer. Using about seven million pounds of grains per year, the beer house brews two kinds of beer, ales and lagers. This is our fermentation cellar. This is where the magic happens. So we have the nutrient-rich wort that's been cooled to about 65, 68 degrees, depending on the beer. It's transferred into these cylindroconical unitank fermenters. Uh, we pitch yeast, and that's when we start making beer. And with 2.3 million bottles fermenting at one time, there's a lot of magic unfolding. And it's why the brewery puts a huge emphasis on the quality assurance process. We go through tens of thousands of Petri dishes. We sample every morning at 8 a.m. It's a great job. The distinct Flying Dog brands are also well known for their avant-garde designs. We were fortunate enough to have Ralph Stedman. So we wanted to uh, highlight the fact that not only was the beer liquid art, but we also wanted original art on the labels. And it really broke through some barriers. And Many credit Flying Dog for helping open doors to creativity and freedom of expression on beer labels. And aside from great designs, unique beer names, and styles that will make you crave another pint, there's another aspect every flying dog drinker in Maryland will love. I very much believe in the concept of local. So it's kind of not just flying dog, but for Maryland in general. And the great breweries we have here, the great restaurants, the great wineries, we really like to see people come and visit Maryland and buy Maryland and have that spill over into the surrounding states because Maryland produces so many great products.